Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka we're V-King MB, and this is, why not, my 31 days of horror movie review. Ah, I was just about to come out. Oh, you, you little trickster. You prankster, you. I'm not going to fall for it, even though I almost did. I'll just add this to the list because I was curious. You know... I was originally curious, and I almost saw this in theaters. But I thought twice, had a second thought, and said, nah, never mind. Now it's on Disney+. Plus, So I just watched Haunted House, the 2023 remake, or is it a reboot? I don't know. But this film is directed by Justin Simeon? That's how you say his name. And the plot's very simple. There's this mansion that's haunted. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I, I watched it. And I feel so completely indifferent about this movie. I don't have a whole lot to say. I'm trying to stretch this out by talking about random other things that might sound more interesting than this movie was. I think it doesn't help that I watched, for the first time recently, the 2003, is it? The Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion movie. And I did not like that movie either. But I at least had a stronger negative reaction to it, right? Like, I came out of that movie and said, man, that sucked. You know, I had issues with the CGI. I had issues with the writing. I had issues with how cheesy and lame it was cut to this movie to where it does have better special effects only in the fact that it's 20 years later it does probably have a better story given some of the back stuff of especially Lakeith Stanfield's character I thought that was interesting but other than that there's not a whole lot of life to this movie there's not a whole lot of interesting like or just flat out good things going on with this movie like i said lakeith stanfield plays ben and he's this guy that's very skeptical of ghosts doesn't believe at all and he even has this messed up backstory of his wife passing away but that almost further reassures his lack of belief and I thought they could have done more with that. But for whatever reason, it's not... I just I feel like they could have really had that be the main focus of the plot. Have that be a, a, a big thing that his character is dealing with. But as it stands, it's kind of just a characteristic of him at the beginning. Then he sees the ghost. And it's like, okay, now we just have to deal with it. There's no, like, holy crap, everything I've thought and known my whole life is, is now gone. Or, holy crap, man, if I just believed in it before, or I really want to believe in it because maybe he wants to see his wife. I like, there's a whole lot of avenues that they could have taken, and I feel like they just went to the straightforward, the most straightforward route of this film. Other castmates, I guess we can talk about. Rosario Dawson, who anytime she shows up, I'm just like, fuck yeah, I will take more. Rosario Dawson, please. Yes, more and more and more. And she looked fine as hell owen wilson plays a priest or a pastor or whatever the fuck and he is wasted you know owen wilson is great when he wants to be owen wilson is funny when he's given the chance to and i couldn't believe how much he wasn't funny here and not because like he tried to tell a bunch of jokes and it didn't work he wasn't really telling a lot of jokes he was just kind of present he was just kind of standing there and he said a couple of things, but it felt like he was just taking up space. Maybe it's because I'm also currently at the same damn time watching him on Loki. And I think he's fucking phenomenal and killing it on that show. So to see him the same year in something where it, this, could, this role could have been anybody, literally anybody, that was annoying. Danny DeVito, who I love Danny DeVito. Another case of he's just here because Tiffany Haddish, which I saw her and I instantly rolled my eyes because I'm at the point where the very first thing I saw Tiffany Haddish in, I thought she was funny. What was it, Girl Strip or whatever? And ever 
since then. Everything I've seen her in since then, I have not enjoyed her in. I thought she's been super ultra mega annoying. This movie, she shockingly wasn't annoying. It was another case of she was just playing a regular character. You know, like she wasn't anything special. She wasn't doing anything that would make me think, oh, okay, uh, she's being Tiffany Haddish. And that's good, but it doesn't help me try to distinguish her character compared to anyone else. She's just another person who gets wrapped up and roped up into this mansion. Jamie Lee Curtis, I, I couldn't believe uh, the role that Jamie Lee Curtis played. I guess she just got bored and got a phone call and just said yes to the first role that was offered to her. Okay, cool. And the main villain, I'll mention this really briefly because you almost would blink and you'd miss who is playing the main like the ghost of the house that's running everything that's making everyone haunt everyone that wants to collect souls for some said shit purpose jared leto plays the head alistair or whatever ghost and i was like why he's all cgi and he looks all decrepit and dead, so you couldn't even tell visually that it was Jared Leto. His voice is overly modulated to sound deeper and scarier, so again, you couldn't tell it was Jared Leto. The only way that I knew it was Jared Leto was when they show his backstory, there's a brief shot of a portrait of him alive, and it's Jared Leto. So I'm like, oh, what? I'm looking around, and I'm like, was that Jared Leto? <laughs> and then you see him in the credits, and it's like, oh, you're shit. Okay, how, how many millions did you pay him to be in this just for a thankless role like that? I mean, I know he's won an Oscar. And the movie that he won an Oscar for, Dallas Buyers Club, I think Jerry Little was phenomenal in that movie. No doubt, and he deserved it. But everything, almost everything I've seen him in since, that I can remember anyways, I just think he's been either bland or not that good. And this is another case of like, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Again, it might sound harsher. And the more I talk about it, maybe it sounds more negative. I just, I'm going to forget about this movie in probably a day. Tomorrow, I will be like, what happened in that movie? What was that movie about? I was pretty bored. I was pretty disinterested with the exception of maybe a couple of scenes here and there. But man... I just I don't get the reason why this movie was remade. I know that it's based off of a Disney ride, but I don't have any connection. I've never been on it. I've never seen it. I don't give a fuck about any of that. Maybe kids loved it. If you're a kid, let me know in the comments below if you saw Haunted Mansion 2023. Did you like it more than I did? And I apologize for cursing if you are a kid. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. Path. You got me walk, walk, walking on broken glass Kicking on the door with a Jason mask With a dead dumb machete But you motherfuckers know what's heavy Anytime you're ready you can get you with a bowie Setting up to blow me with a bitch don't know me